Hi guys, it's Jamie here and I'm back to having enough time to do three different versions of the same prompt for the full deck challenge too. Today's prompts are person, ribbon, glitter and yellow. The first thing I'm going to do with all three cards is cover them with some tissue paper. What I want to do is just go over the top with the same solution and then let everything dry. Card number one, I'm going to use three different watercolour crayons. I have a dark blue which I'm going to put on here, mid blue and a light blue. Take a bit of water, spray them, set them very gently mix together. Take some of the tissue paper and soak that pattern up. Put it to one side to dry. Very similar effect with yellows. So we have a bright yellow, a lemon, peach colour, more water. Get those to mix. And again, allow that to dry. Actually, I could take one of the cards and put that in that as well. It's not going to make a huge difference because it is watercolour. With the dried tissue paper, we are going to add it to the cards. In between the two colours, I've got these scrunched up bits that have got bits of blue and bits of white. I want to add them like there are surf or waves breaking. One of the prompts for this challenge was glitter. I don't have any actual glitter, but I can add glittery accents. So I have a bit of gold paint here, this little fussy cut crown which came from Emma's kit which was the paper doll kits that she has and by adding that on that yellow crown I'm going to try and make it more glittery and yet keep the detail. So that's an acrylic gold. So we've got glitter, yellow we've got the sand, person i have this from the 50s pinup girl kit by emma and ribbon mm. now ribbon doesn't really go with this i was thinking about it and thinking maybe she could be sort of sitting on a beach towel and maybe the ribbon could be a beach towel and making a little stripy beach towel what color would go with that i do have a gold Let's go with a oatmeal-y gold. I don't know what you would call that. Maybe that red again. So what I will do is I will glue these together. I'm going to use the silicone glue, which is Fabri-Tac. Because I'm here and I still have too much of this gold left, I am going to colour in this plasticky, I'm not even sure what you'd call it, it's like a plastic lace. It's not material. I might put it on this one as a backdrop for her. I don't know yet. I'm just reversing it because some of this white showing through doesn't really matter. Could also use a mica spray or something to get a similar result. Cut this down so we don't want too much because we want to see some of that sand. I might do is try, this could be fun, and use the thinning scissors and see if we can get like a frayed edge along here like you would have on a beach towel. These are just hairdressing thinning scissors. She could be sitting on her beach towel. Do we want, before I do that, do we want this behind her? So it's like a fishing net and then the beach towel. Yeah, I quite like that actually. And now we're going to attach the beach towel. 
Now she's going to go on. Oh, she's a sticker, even better. That is sticky back paper, but I am going to add just a touch of glue just to make sure. I want her on here and I want you to be able to see a bit of that beach towel. And then if that's dry, which it is, we can put the crown on her head. That is version one of those prompts. I don't know what I'm doing for the next ones, just use it to cover this. I don't like waste. So I will work with this background on the next one. One thing I really like about this one is that use of black netting and I don't want a totally gold background. So I'm looking at this thinking I'm going to do the same again but this time I'm going to paint the netting with a black gesso. I don't know where or when I got this but I just found it in my scraps box and I thought I love this I don't have glitter but I do have these tiny tiny black beads that are glittery so I am about to try my patience with the ultimate test and throw a bit of glue over this very watery glue grab these hopefully put them on here going to attempt can't believe this to cover the hat with lots and lots of little beads i'm hoping you can see the shine on that i think it's really cool i'm hoping that's catching the light for the ribbon aspect of this i'm going to use it as you would a i'm just checking what the shiny side is as you would a posh hanging frame so I am going to place the ribbon down here. The bottom I want to cut up into a V shape. Just get him to go under there and glue the whole thing onto here. That is the second altered playing card from the same set of prompts because the frame is the yellow, as is the background. Glitter is the bow tie and the bowler hat ribbon and then he is our person this time for the third one i have this very glittery scrapbook paper on this side so this is going to be my glitter I'm going to cut out some of these circles and scatter them over the background now i may use the check background I may paint it black I've yet to decide I have decided that I want to paint this with black gesso I think it will make a more dramatic background the next thing I will do is place these circles across this background that's the background done now I have some things from Emma's paper doll kit for those interested I will link that in the description I don't know that counts as yellow does that count as yellow? It's more orange. Oh, I've got something I could use as yellow. I've cut a little slit in this washing basket and I was going to have the Piero stepping through the slit. So he's coming out the basket. Possibly put the wings on him. I don't know yet because the yellow I've got is some bananas. And do the wings detract from the bananas? I think they might so we may not do wings i'm not sure what he's meant to be holding there but i thought it might be fun i'm not everything's going to fit on here some of this won't sit perfectly on this card could edge him in black but i don't know maybe a bit of a background so he pops up out against that perhaps a ribbon so that's where we get the ribbon in i don't have a silver but i do have bit of pink if we put that over there does that help or do we need the black i think the black's better i want to run the black along the center and now we want to put a clown on bananas need to be here because these have been cut from cardstock you don't need to trim those down my three different cards from the same prompts completed if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it really does help push this video out 
to more new potential subscribers on YouTube. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. There is well over 250 videos in the last nine months, all tutorial style or challenges. Let me know which one of those three is your favorite in the comments below and I will see you next time.